Kiyosaki, I was one of the very lucky ones to have a scholarship to go overseas to train. And the first Gambian to be trained in drama, in theater arts. And um, I've used this theater arts like all my life, and I know how important it is. So it's as if I've, I've come back now really to give back, to share what I've had, all the treasures that I've had through the theater, through the performing arts. That's what I'm here to do, and particularly for the young ones. I want, I want to really inspire the young ones. I want them to be creative, to, to do all the things that you know, are possible in this world. Uh, this is the only theater house in the Gambia at present. And a lot of people have been talking about the infrastructure. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's so modern, and it is so traditional. Perhaps you'd like to tell us the reason or the rationale behind you coming up with such a huge theater house in the Gambia. Well, first of all, there was none. So, and I, this, and I thought, well, you, you have to have a theater to, to, to produce plays and for people to showcase what you do, really and truly. So then it was a question of, what kind of theater do you want? Are you going to copy things that are happening abroad or things that exist abroad or are you going to create your own? Something new, something, something African. Usually I, I said to myself, you know, it has to be something authentic, something Gambian. So it was research, looking. Sometimes I would look at the web to see what things have been done in Africa. I couldn't find something until somebody led me to Sandeli where they were using these mud bricks. And as soon as I saw Sandeli and I saw that they were using these mud bricks with very little percentage of cement, I thought, this is it. And of course, the design of the dome shape, which is just like a mud hut, you know, I thought, this is the technology that we want and this is what we are going to use. So that's about it. Okay, uh, today we've seen uh, students uh, from Apple Tree International School come here to watch uh, the trainees sponsored by GAM Jobs uh, to perform on stage and I'm told that you have students from Marina, Methodist and other schools and this uh, uh, is, 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 is going through a project called Theatre Through Education, I guess. So perhaps you'd like to tell us uh, a little bit as to what Theatre Through Education is all about. It's theatre in education, really. Um, it's, 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 it's very difficult to really go through it step by step, but the essence of it is that we feel that we should start getting the children to be more creative through the schools at a very early age. You see children who, whose parents read to them at night, read stories or tell them stories like the griots used to do. You know, you find that they become more imaginative. They have, they have this creative in, in them and then that is taken out through the stories. They begin to appreciate words. They begin to learn a lot of things about life. And you, the, the thing is that in all aspects of life, creativity plays a leading role. When people are not creative, they don't proceed, they don't go. If you, look at, if you look at management, if you look at these big corporations, the people who make it or the corporations which make it are those that are imaginative, who are those that are creative. Creative and innovative. Th innovative, exactly. You look at scientists, the same thing. You know, you, fi you find uh, even, well, in the arts, of course, that's where you expect to find it, in the theater, the dance, the music and everything. But these things have to be nurtured, you know, from childhood. Even when a child is moving around, two-year-old, what they do is it depends on how much they're encouraged to take, to not to always do what others are doing, but to diverge. That's what they call creativity, diverging from the norm, doing the extra, going the extra mile. And we also believe that um, theater arts contains all the elements you need for development. You know, for example, discipline, commitment, punctuality, you know, respect for human dignity, all those things, you know, decision making, learning to live with each other, tolerance, tolerance you've said it, you've said it, you know, all those things are part of the theatre, but people tend to ignore it. And then another thing we tend to ignore is the fact that it is a skilled profession. You have to learn how to dance, you have to learn how to move, you have to learn to interact, you know, you have to have this communication with people, it is so essential. The, the theme for today's performance was 100% traditional. You are looking at a chora. Of course, uh, we have the drum, we have the fuller musical instrument called the riti, we have the balafong, but why the chora today? Why the chora? Because it's a fascinating instrument, and not only that, we see what Europeans are doing with our instrument. Mm -hmm. They are using it as their own, creating, putting piano with it, music with it, doing all sorts of things. And so the chora music really 
is exciting for me. But I tell you, it was not only my idea. Um, I think it was GRTS who came up with this idea that they wanted to have this Cora um, um, on their programs. Yeah. And they asked if, if I could advise them as to how they could present it. And so um, I gave them ideas as to how they could present it within their own limits. But then I said, I have to hear the story. So, you know, Bai Alajim Bai is a well-known Cora player, a magnificent guy. Um, so he came to my house, in fact, and he told me the story. And I said, you know, that is a beautiful story. I have to make it into a play. But I put it aside. That was why I decided to write the story. And you see what came out of it, you know, with the right actors, the right music. And for me, too, I was amazed at the kind of music that came out of the chorus. Alajimba is a very talented guy. And I would just say to him, I want this kind of rhythm, this kind of music that will evoke sadness, you know, or longing or love. And he came with this, I mean, the strings were just magnificent. The story, even though I've heard it so many times and seen it, every time it brings tears to my eyes because I think it's such a beautiful story. It's a love story, but it's a story also about making choices. Having, having, having a, um, a decision to make at one point of your life, and that was indeed very much important. And I must say that the story was indeed very much touching. I had to get emotional, but but tears almost came out of my eyes. Uh, uh, one thing, one thing that that I'm also willing to ask is: looking at the performing industry of the Ghana, especially theatre, uh, there is little support. The industry is not big. Going to uh, the United States, you have Hollywood, Nigeria, there is Nollywood. In fact, Sierra Leone now, now have Sollywood, and Ghana, there is Gollywood. So, <laughs> uh, but Gambia, there is nothing really, really, really big. And, Ab and Abujan is one of the uh, 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 institutions that is striving to create that opportunity for employment. Just as you said, it is a skilled opportunity where young people could be given employment. Now, what do you think as a person is the way forward for the Gambia theater and movie industry? Well, I think everything, there's a time for everything under the sun, under the <laughs> sun, it is true. I think the time is now. And people are beginning to realize that, you know, this is an art form that we could do a lot better than even those who are doing in Nollywood now. Because if you learn, so most of these actors are not really trained in the way. If they are properly trained, you would be amazed. I think this kind of show can stand anywhere in the world. Yeah. You know, because of the background they have, the movement they have, the way their you know, feelings, you know, getting it right. But once you, you are trained, then you have a better chance because the competition is great. It's great around the world. And I think the training and the support, you see, you need, the support doesn't have to come for with big um, cash. It's, it's people coming to see the show. Watching it, appreciating it, and paying to come and see the show. You know what I mean? Because often they think, well, look, at you, because they are just dancers. You know, like they do, which are, this is something that I don't quite like. This is, you will you will this is not just any dance. Or they just put a few coins in a calabash. How is that person going to live if that is art, if that is his means of livelihood? Yeah. You know, so we have to really recognize it and pay for the standard that we get. And, I, and I, have, I, I have great faith and hope in the young children. I think they're going to be brilliant. They're going to be better than us, you know, and they're going to really great. If we can get the young ones to come, if we can also get into the schools, you know, for them to appreciate art at this very early age of their life, stage of their life, I think we'll, we'll go far. We'll go very far. I'm convinced. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 I did see you capture uh, different areas, like you, you talk about the dancing, and acting, and I am this person who has strong passion for comedy, and I want to believe that Cambia also has very, very fine comedians. I want to know how far Abuja Theatre is working on in trying to see that there is at least this program created that would um, build up the skills of people who want to take up comedy as a prof as as a profession in the performing arts. Yeah, well, it com life is comedy. It's a great comedy. It's everywhere. You know, it's it's matter of you seeing things and and finding co like you can look at a, a story and find the drama in it. So too, you can look at certain situations and find the the comic side of life. You know, so even the, the students learn how to do that. They have to have to play comedy. You play comedy. Comedy is often also about timing. You know, how you approach the subject. You know, your 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 the contrast you have, for example, you can have a tall man and a short guy on stage. That alone, as soon as you see them, you, 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 you go laugh, in, you laugh, you know. So, I mean, the training is there, we have to do. And, and this is why I really want to congratulate GAM Jobs for believing in it and, and sponsoring students to be trained. And I think they will not regret this, this situation. We are going to have our first anniversary on the 30th of November. And you will see some